Hello, I just wanted to hop on real quick while it's fresh in my mind about my day today. I had a chemo class this morning where they pretty much just went over everything about my particular chemo plan, which is the AC-T treatment and what I can expect, what side effects. I may or may not experience um, all those things and there's not really too much to say about that class it's pretty much repeating everything my oncologist told me but um, one thing that was I don't even know how to feel about it either sad or just shocked is I was the youngest person there everybody in there was well over 60 years old so it's like, how am I getting cancer and I'm not even 40 yet? It's just crazy. But anyway, after my chemo class was over, I had to go in the same building back downstairs to radiology <clears throat> to get my MRI with contrast of my breast or both breasts actually. And it's probably the most awkward MRI or test I've ever had in my life because now you have to get an IV that I couldn't even feel it the girl who put my IV in was excellent um but you have to lay on your stomach put your face into this like almost like a chiropractor thing um but it's like over your eyes so you might as well just like whoops close your eyes anyway um but the way the machine is positioned is there's this like beam that goes in between your chest in a way your breast I don't know I just remember feeling like all this weight was on my chest bone and my ribs and I felt like I couldn't take a deep breath and it was making me panicky not a panic attack i've had those before not a panic attack i just felt like whew, like i couldn't take a deep breath and when you're laying on your stomach it's like even harder to take a deep breath so anyway your breasts are just kind of like hanging in this reservoir so you know the machine can get a clear image um but when i laid down and i had not eaten this was um around like 12 30 p.m and i hadn't eaten anything yet on purpose and i normally don't eat till like lunchtime anyway but <clears throat> on purpose because i didn't want to be laying on my stomach and potentially throw up <laughs> you know from all the pressure so having not eaten i drank a lot of water um i was laying there and i just felt like my stomach acid like coming up and i'm like oh i might throw up like I don't feel nauseous. I don't feel panicky. I just were pressing on my stomach and it's, it didn't like it. So I had to tell them to pull me out. Oh, and they put earplugs in and headphones. Of course they asked what I wanted to listen to. And I said, Stevie Nicks, who else? But, um, I just felt like I was like, okay, I'm on my stomach. I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. Cause my face was like shoved into this thing and I can't breathe talk about panic mode so I told them pull me out pull me out and I'm like I gotta readjust I have to readjust I can't breathe so they were able to readjust me to like turn my head to the side so it was like laying on my side and I was able to breathe a lot better but and I told them no earplugs just do the headphones because those earplugs it was just too quiet like I felt like I was in a tomb or a coffin or something it just was not pleasant um, so yeah, just, if you have to go get a breast MRI <laughs> and if you're claustrophobic at all, I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Maybe you will, but you might need to be sedated because that was, I am not a claustrophobic person and I felt like I couldn't breathe <laughs> and it wasn't the small, you do go in a tube. It wasn't because of that. It was because of the way your body weight is like pressing against this, like, it was padded, but it felt like it wasn't padded. Um, metal beam that 
sits in between your breasts and lets them just hang there. And uh, that was pretty scary, I guess is the word, or intimidating or uncomfortable, awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you have to go for a MRI, a breast MRI with contrast. Oh, and that's another thing, when they administered the contrast, it was cold. Like I actually could feel like it was like cold water. Like you know when you drink a really cold water bottle and you can feel it going down into your stomach? It was just like that, but like through your veins. It was kind of cool. But um, what was weird is when they turned off the administered contrast, it my my blood was warm because I'm alive. Um, it was weird. I felt it was like, oh, I'm really warm, and I'm like, I hope I'm not having a reaction. And you can't move. That's another thing. When you're laying, whatever position, if you're gonna go face down, cool. Or if you're gonna lay to the side, cool. But you can't move. So you pick what you're comfortable with and you stay there. But I just wanted to make you guys aware, if you have to get a breast MRI and you don't feel comfortable, ask if they can readjust your position. Ask if you can turn your head to the side so you can get better oxygen, whatever makes you comfortable. Oh, because your arms are like out the entire time too. You're like in Superman position on your stomach with your ladies just flapping in the breeze. So I just wanted to share that with you while it's fresh in my mind because it happened today. One of the most awkward tests I've ever had in my life. Borderline scary because I felt like I couldn't breathe. And it was really cool in a weird scientific way feeling cold stuff going through my veins. But if you are getting a breast MRI, good luck. And don't forget to ask if you can be repositioned if you don't feel comfortable. Because it takes about... 15 to 20 minutes from start to finish. So that's it.